we're standing on what was at one time Canada's tallest building. So it's all told, including chimney, is about 25 floors. That was in 1926 when the building was built. It's odd in that, yeah, we, we've got, you know, some of the latest computer technology in, you know, one of Toronto's older buildings. It's awkward to work within. It was never designed for large amounts of electrical and telecommunications cabling. You know, if everything that we bring in ends up being a bit of a challenge. When we moved into here, we knew we would need to set up a, a backup power system. And we, we, we brought with us a fairly large UPS that was using batteries that would give us about an hour to two hours of pull time. And that's really not quite enough for the business we're in. There is actually a diesel generator set in the basement that the building uses, and we were going to actually put a natural gas generator set in the basement sort of next to that. We started down that road, we moved in, we started the process of getting quotes to do the actual work, and then we found that the codes and standards had changed so that in 1970 whatever, when the generator was originally put in the basement, they could actually run the diesel up the chimney behind us. Now you can't. We would have actually ended up having to put a separate pipe up 25 floors. That was going to cost us probably close to a quarter million dollars for that alone. At that point, that sort of toasted off the budget that we had, and it was time to get creative and think outside the box. I looked at a number of different alternatives, and we approached Hydrogenix to provide us with a fuel cell solution that we could integrate to an existing UPS. It turned out that they were in negotiations with APC, which is American Power Conversions, to do exactly that. APC basically was a systems integrator. So what they did is they took the hydrogenics fuel cells and married that technology with their own three-phase backup system. So basically you've got a three-phase backup system with some batteries to support the system in transitions when the power goes off and the fuel cells come online. The advantage with running fuel cells over batteries is that it's almost like a generator type solution. So long as you can continue to roll fuel up to the system, you can keep it running. So there's nothing that says we can't run for weeks on end, so long as we can continue to roll fuel into the building. You're looking at storage cylinders here of hydrogen and a management system that allows you to swap cylinders when the system's running. This is hydrogen fuel line, comes from the storage and is, is fed to the FCXR rack, which has the fuel cells, this is the back view of it. Fuel cells need air, hydrogen, and some cooling source, which is uh, water cooled right now. So if the power goes out right now, if we didn't have the extended rack here, we'd get about two hours of backup time. You can add more batteries, but again, the batteries take up a lot of space as well as weight. So the nice thing about the, a fuel cell is floor space is minimal as well as the weight is, is, is significantly less. And then your storage is just your hydrogen outside your server room and uh, your backup is fully limited on, on your fuel. So if you keep the fuel replenished, your backup is continuous. The system fits on about eight square feet of floor space. So in that respect, it's, it's fairly small. It may be that tall, but in, in our business, floor space is what we've got to sell and the floor space is at a premium so you know the smaller amount of floor space we use for our power solution the better off we are actually working with hydrogenics has been a lot of fun there's been a lot of work it's, it's been a while in coming but it's happening we're very happy and I think we can see a lot of ways forward from this